just got to Georgetown University. We're gonna go ahead and tour today. It's graduation time, so it's pretty loud. And we'll see if we can find some students in there. I chose Georgetown because I'm from outside Boston originally and DC was like a really great, great option. Like in my time here, I've interned on the Hill and like the food scene's really good and there's like a lot of things to do. So I had a lot of fun. Um, and Georgetown's, honestly, I loved it from the first time like I came on campus. Like the campus is like beautiful and so is the area and I just felt very at home. Oh, I picked Georgetown because uh, it's in DC. It's, it's very policy relevant. Um, it's a fairly prestigious school, so I had a good brand. Uh, especially for my line of work, uh, it was yeah, I mean, you're just very close to the action. So it's a lot easier to network, a lot easier to, yeah. Um, well, to be frank, it was the money. Uh, they gave me the most money out of all of the colleges that I applied for. The summer before my senior year of high school, uh, it was very nice. The teachers were, the professors were, like, very um, informed, very friendly. Uh, it was a community feeling. As a PWI, they did offer me the most money um, from out of all of the colleges that I got accepted to. I also got accepted to Howard. It was a tough, it was a tough choice, but you know, I'm, I'm glad I made this choice. Uh, so I actually chose Georgia and Qatar because they gave me a full scholarship. Oh, okay. So I wanted to work with Emanuela Delgado, a professor here. Um, she is well known for her research and a lot of things that she has contributed to the field. I just was inspired about the kind of work that she does and wanted to learn something from her and to do research with her, basically. Uh, at first, I just uh, want to study abroad, like America, and when I was searching for schools. And I mean, Georgetown is a good, great school, and it's also in the MV area, because I don't really like New York City, so I choose Georgetown. I came to Georgetown because of the STIA program. I thought it was a really unique major, and I hadn't heard of any program um, like it in the country, so I came to Georgetown because of that. Um, I would say my biggest challenge, at least freshman year, is like imposter syndrome, like feeling like you didn't deserve to go to this school. Um, and that was really hard for me just to like figure out and like learn that I like did deserve to go here. And then my other challenge recently that I had was like, uh, kind of being like POC on campus. I feel like it is not the most diverse place, but you do find your people. And I feel like everyone I've met, definitely met my best friends here. Oh, uh, rent, finding a reasonable rent that's near the school is kind of difficult. Uh, I would say that like, George, like down, um, like in Georgetown, like there are places, uh, my current place to pay 900 a month, which is really good in Georgetown, um, but it was infested with rats and cockroaches when I got there and I had to remove them uh, myself. So, you know, but now I, now that, that rent's pretty good. But but yeah, so that's a trade-off in the state. I will definitely say, well, as a black student, uh, it is definitely challenging. Um, I think the most important thing is finding a great support group. Uh, finding great friends. It, the journey is really what you make it. Um, classes, so classes are definitely tougher. Um, scheduling, waking up 
in high school at 8 a.m. is not the same as waking up in college at 8 a.m. So uh, definitely just acclimating to a new schedule, a new environment, and um, new people. Joining extracurriculars, I was in the gospel choir, dance teams, um, really helped like expand my a uh, group of people, meeting new people, different types of people, um, older people, younger people. It's really great. So for, specifically for main campus, uh, not getting drunk four days of a week. You said drunk? Is that what you said? Yeah. Uh, why is that? Because like there's so many things going on, like there are parties all the time. It's like a party school. Uh, yeah, definitely. There is a lot of concentration when it comes to the technical field. Uh, I assume that we're going to be doing policy, etc. But it turns out that cyber uh, gets a little more technical with coding and things of that sort, hands-on cybersecurity. But I'm uh, keeping up with the pace. Yeah. One of the biggest challenges was I moved here during the pandemic. The biggest challenge for me is pandemic because um, the visa status for us is too hard to apply, especially uh, we are a Chinese international student. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Living across the country from my family has definitely been pretty tough, but FaceTime is your greatest friend, I think. Yeah, go for it and apply. I would, in general, say that, like, especially with undergrad, like, the thing people don't realize about being 18 is that, like, your main weakness, like, is that you don't know a lot about how the world works and you don't have a lot of resources to learn. And, like, most American liberal arts school colleges are like in the sticks and like you're not gonna it's just not the environment that you'll be in after you graduate so you're gonna have to do a really difficult transition from like middle of nowhere Vermont to like a city you're if you go to a school in a city you're like learning how like daily life works and like the job world works like much earlier and just like how the social world works it's I don't know it's just better it just seems like a much better way to do it yeah don't be afraid to take risks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just be sure. Be sure this is where you want to go. There Georgetown go. is a one in a million like lifetime opportunity. Um, it's very hard to get in here. So once you get in here, just do what you can to make it the best four years of your life. Um, I wish I had that advice when I was younger. I kind of just skated by, like not including myself in as much things as I should have. So definitely be open to new opportunities and um, new challenges. Don't get drunk for the days of week. Well, at least I can comment on the research part of it, especially the department that I am in. So I think uh, that's a group of very good people doing a very nice research, especially in soft currents matter and reality. So I do encourage them to come and join. Um, and how do kind of summer projects or, uh, you know, I don't know, a year of something like a project assistant to know whether they like the kind of physics so, uh, just to explore a bit more than getting settled to something or fixing on something I think if, by all means if you can come just come it's a great environment uh, they have a holistic approach to helping their students uh, you're gonna have plenty of uh, resources. For me, my my program, communication, culture, and technology is pretty um, interdisciplinary program. So it's very flexible for students to choose different courses in different departments. So my advice is to like talk to your advisor as much as you can, so that they can give you some advice and also from professors. Do all your readings. Do your readings and keep a planner. When visiting campuses, I always want to see what the culture is like, so I go to nearby restaurants. I found one that's only about a 15 minute walk away. It's on Potomac Street, and it's rated number one budget friendly restaurant for college students. And the falafel sandwiches are only $3, so let's go check it out. There wasn't any seating in there, but this was only 4.40. I added hummus, let's see. Slightly messy, but did not disappoint. 
It's super tasty. I would recommend this jalapeno sauce if you like spicy.